This video essay is about De Saussure, a Swiss linguist regarded by many as the creator of the modern theory of structuralism. He believed that a word's meaning is based less on the object it refers to and more on its structure. What is Ferdinand de Saussure known for? It is structuralism that brought about a significant shift in 20th century thought. De Saussure's structuralism suggests that meaning does not exist outside language. De Saussure's philosophy of language is commonly referred to as structural linguistics because its strategy for examining language and meaning centers on investigating structures within a system. What is de Saussure's new linguistic science? De Saussure called his new linguistic science semiology, a term derived from the Greek word for sign, semiol. Semiology, also called semiotics, is the study of the structure of language as a system. De Saussure's semiology is about sign, signifier, and signified. You may be confused by the terms sign, signifier, and signified. So what are these? Sign is anything that is used to convey or communicate a meaning. De Saussure defined a sign as being composed of signifier, any material that signifies, e.g. words on a page or a billboard, a facial expression, an image. It is the physical form or the form the sign takes. For example, I'm loving it on a McDonald's billboard. Signified, the concept that a signifier refers to. It is the mental concept or the concept the sign represents. Example, McDonald's logo on a billboard. In general, the signifier and the signified are the components of the sign itself, formed by the associative link between the signifier and the signified. He argues further that the relationship between the signifier and the signified is arbitrary. The sign, the signifier, and the signified are concepts of Ferdinand de Saussure's structuralism. How can we study language as a system? De Saussure distinguished between langue and parole to study language as a system of signs. Langue, or language, refers to language as a structured system operating at a particular time and place. Parole, speech, refers to particular occurrences of speech within the system. The study of language as a system requires a synchronic, at the same time, approach, rather than a diachronic, across time, one. Synchrony refers to the study of language, primarily spoken language, as it is used at a particular moment. Diachrony refers to the study of language change over time. What does de Saussure mean by binary opposition? Because signs are arbitrary, the meaning of any particular sign is determined in terms of similarity and difference in relation to other signs. Thus, meaning is founded on binary oppositions. In simple terms, a binary opposition is a pair of related terms or concepts that are opposite in meaning. For example, light, dark, good, bad, and inside, outside, to name a few. To conclude, De Saussure's structuralist linguistics is used to frame educational inquiry and practice across many disciplinary domains, including teaching and learning. Well, that's a wrap on this video. We hope you found it informational. And if you did, make sure to press the like button and show some love by sharing this video. Be sure to leave a comment about how Ferdinand de Saussure's work has been influential in your thinking, teaching, and learning. And if you haven't subscribed already, Make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out more mini lessons and summaries on educational topics. Thank you for your service, educators. Until the next time.